सिक्सटी वन मेबर्स मिंगनवा वाइस इन पड़ता ओके ओके लास्ट क्लास वी डिस्कस अबाउट दी वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ कॉस्ट ओके फिक्स्ड कॉस्ट वेरिएबल कॉस्ट एंड टोटल कॉस्ट टोटल कॉस्ट मींस इट इज द सम ऑफ दीज टू कॉस्ट वेरिएबल कॉस्ट एंड फिक्स्ड कॉस्ट ओके इन economic cost is the uh, added the one more cost that is the opportunity cost okay so the total cost pl plus uh, opportunity cost is nothing but the economic cost okay the average cost is calculated by using the uh, total total cost by number of the units or quantity of the product okay that is called average cost in marginal cost the difference between the uh, previous uh, number of units Uh, our to uh, total cost of the uh, n units uh, minus uh, uh, total uh, uh, total cost of uh, n minus one units in same manner revenue also calculated it okay and the relation between the average cost and marginal cost see this diagram in this diagram when the average cost uh, declines the the marginal cost is less than the average cost when the average cost is increases the marginal cost is greater than the uh, average cost okay when the average cost uh, stays the same the minimum or maximum the marginal cost is equal to the average cost okay based on the uh, average cost uh, it uh, the, uh, be, uh, the limit is marginal cost or uh, okay be, uh, if uh, margin, marginal cost is uh, sorry in the average cost is greater than the uh, if uh, average cost is increases in that time uh, marginal cost is greater than the average cost in similar manner the average cost is decreases the marginal cost is less than the average cost okay this is the relation between the average cost and marginal cost in short run and long run costs generally in uh, long run costs uh, there is no uh, any uh, fixed costs but in short run uh, both fixed cost and variable cost is available in this short run costs okay uh, because in long run the production is uh, running and uh, the variable costs are is uh, inserted into the uh, long run uh, Uh, the, uh, long in long run, the fixed cost is not available, okay? Because the based on the production, it's varying the cost. Variable cost is available in this uh, uh, long run, okay? The efficient long cost is sustained when the combination of the outputs, the form products results in the desired quantity of goods at lowest possible cost. These are the. Uh, short run long run cost uh, next we discuss about the uh, different types of cost and revenues uh, cost means it, it is nothing but uh, expenditures based on the expenditures we, de uh, we decide the price okay price of the good and then uh, revenue is the after uh, sold or, um, selling the uh, that particular commodity or product okay uh, in that time we get the revenue okay the based on the revenue we decide the is uh, profit loss or um, break even point that means uh, no profit no no loss see this point cost and revenue are just like different faces of the same coin the coin and revenue of sorry the cost and revenue of the firm determines its nature the level of the profit cost refers to the expenses incurred by the producers for the production of a commodity revenue denotes the amount of income which a firm receives the by by the sale of its output the revenue concepts commonly used in economic are total revenue the average revenue and marginal revenue okay uh, there are uh, 
in similar in similar manner cost also average cost marginal cost and uh, total cost in revenue also in, uh, in three types um, uh, total revenue average revenue and marginal revenue okay uh, profit equation is the nothing but uh, uh, revenue minus or price minus uh, a cost based on this uh, equation we get the profit loss or no profit no gain or no loss okay that means uh, if price is more than the expenditures in that time we get the profit if price is less than the expenditures that means cost in that time we get the loss if price is equal to the expenditures in that time there is no get the loss and there is no get the profit okay see this one total revenue what is the total revenue the total revenue refers to the the total sale proceeding of a farm by selling its total output at a given price the mathematically the total revenue is calculated the, the product of the pr um, price and quantity okay where tr is the total revenue and p is the price of the commodity and q is the quantity of sold see this example suppose a farm sells 100 units of a product at a price of 5 dollars each the total revenue will be the product of these two one one is the 100 and the one is the 5 dollars total uh, the total revenue is 500 dollars in similar manner we calculate the average revenue also if the average revenue is the revenue per unit of the commodity sold it is obtained by the dividing the total revenue by the number of units sold mathematically we calculate the average revenue is the uh, total revenue by number of units or quantity of sold okay where ar is the average revenue and tr indicates the total revenue and q is the quantity of sold see this example the previous example in this the farm sells the 100 units of the product of the price is the five dollars okay now we calculate the average revenue already we calculated the total revenue total revenue means it is the product of price and quantity okay 100 into five dollars is in nothing but 500 by number of quantities that means 100 500 by 100 we get the five dollars this is the average revenue means price okay and then we calculate the marginal revenue the marginal revenue is nothing but the addition to total revenue by selling one more unit of the commodity okay the it is mathematically we calculated the marginal revenue equal to trn minus trn minus one okay that means if you in the quantity of the uh, goods is the 100 units we can the total revenue is the trn in case the trn if um, if one more unit is uh, calculated in that time this is the uh, additional unit is added in this uh, total revenue um, actual uh, actual total number of uh, units is considered in this uh, total revenue see this example suppose 100 units of product are sold at re at revenue of 500 dollars and one uh, one more unit that means 101 units are sold at a total revenue of the we get the uh, 505 dollars we now we calculate the marginal revenue marginal revenue equal to uh, total uh, the n number of total revenue minus n minus 1 units of total revenue that means 505 minus 500 dollars we get the 5 dollars this is the uh, five dollars is expand uh, revenue is generated the uh, marginal revenue revenue is generated the uh, extra one unit it implies the one at one unit earns the additional income of five dollars uh, 
now we can we discuss about the profit already uh, we discuss uh, i uh, telling this in class in the profit the profit means based on the difference between the uh, income and expenditures okay based on this equation we calculate the profit okay see this one the profit is the difference between the income and expenditures expenditures okay based on this classification of the profit is three types one is the supernormal profit in this supernormal profit we get the more uh, it generated the more income okay and the one is the normal profit in this normal profit um, uh, only a uh, oh, small amount of money is generated in this profit uh, in this uh, type and uh, third type is the subnormal profit it's also called as a losses because expenditures is more compared to revenue in that time we get the losses okay see these conditions the average revenue greater than average cost and the total revenue greater than total cost that means the uh, the revenue is more than the expenditures so we in this uh, far greater than the uh, expenditures so we get the super normal profit in this uh, another one is the normal profit in this normal profit the average revenue is equal to the average cost and the total revenue equal to total cost in this so the revenue and cost is equal in that time uh, we get the uh, a small number of profits okay in subnormal profit the expenditure is more than the revenue so the um, we get uh, we get the losses in that time the farms are not in this uh, not withstand in the market okay they leave the market these are the uh different classifications of the profits and also uh, these uh, the conditions or terms of these uh, uh, profits supernormal profit normal profit and uh, subnormal profit now we'll discuss about the demand and the perfect competition okay generally already uh, we discussed about the last class uh, different types of curves that means uh, demand curves and uh, also uh, supply supply curves how to uh, Uh, very based on the price and quantity okay demand curves is the downward direction because the law of the based on the law of demand price is increasing the the demand is decreasing okay uh, the demand is increasing the price is decreasing the um, so price and demand is the inversely proportional in this law of demand in supply but in supply the price is proportional to the supply because the price is increasing in that time supply is increasing okay and then price is decreasing in that time supply curve is decreasing okay so supply and uh, demand curves are always uh, opposite direction that means uh, one curve is the rising the left to right okay and the curve is the uh, downward direction is moving to the downward direction left to right okay see this in this uh, uh, demand curve is uh, downward moving the downward direction and uh, no, left to right okay see this uh, this one point a customer demands more quantity at lower price and less quantity at higher price okay the law of demand also is uh, say the same point okay tells about the, uh, therefore the demand varies at different prices now supply curves under the perfect competition supply refers to the quantity of the product that produced the are willing to supply at particular price generally the supply of a product increases at higher price and decreases at lower price already we discussed about this supply curves now what is the equilibrium point okay in in, in this equilibrium point under perfect competition uh, these two curves are intersect the one particular point it is nothing but is the equilibrium point see this uh, diagram in this diagram the price and quantity are intersect the uh, one of the particular point that means uh, demand curves also supply curves are intersect this point e is the equilibrium point if price is increasing 
if price is increasing p2 p1 in that time demand curves are decrease um, uh, moves the uh, left side okay not right uh, alage ikkada um, price is a decreasing p2 p, uh, p2 so the supply is uh, Uh, the demand is more than supply in this in p1 point the demand is uh, the supply is greater than the demand okay see this uh, uh, points in perfect competition the price of product is determined at a particular uh, at a point at which the demand and supply curves intersect each other this point is known as equilibrium point at this point the quantity demanded and supplied is called equilibrium point see this uh, diagram at the price op1 supply is more than the demand therefore the price will fall down its op okay similarly at price of op2 demand is more than the supply similarity in such a case the price will rise to op thus e is the equilibrium at which equilibrium price is op and equilibrium quantity is the oq now we we'll discuss about the uh, price determinations in a perfect competition okay generally uh, before this point we already in last classes we discuss about the uh, how to vary the um, average cost curves and revenue curves generally in revenue curves always um, either in perfect competition it's constant average revenue equal to average cost okay in cost and average costs are uh, always vary the in a u u shape uh, u shape direction okay see this one the conditions of the perfect competition in short run the uh, in this uh, in this conditions first one is the perfect competition price determined by the market okay if uh, 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 profit or losses but uh, there is a number of uh, number of buyers and sellers is uh, available in the market so price is decide the uh, uh, total market okay so uh, the seller not decide the price um, based on the competition the uh, in every time the the price uh, based on the price they selling the commodities in short run one can make any changes in variable factors but it does not allow any changes in the fixed factors every firm under perfect competition produce same cost curve under perfect competition for short run always the demand curve and average revenue curve will one and a same a firm sells additional units at the same price so that the average revenue curve and marginal revenue curve will be one and same average cost curve and marginal cost curve as usual found normally in u shape in short run there are three possibilities as below to end profit one is the supernormal profit and the one is the normal profit and third one is the subnormal profit after attaining the equilibrium the firm will not increase or decrease its output equilibrium means the uh, both marginal cost and uh, marginal cost is equal these are the conditions of perfect competition in short run see this example the quantity of the commodity is the Uh, one by one increasing one two three up to seven. The average revenue is equal to the each commodity. Okay, that means so first commodity is the ten uh, and second commodity also ten up to seven uh, units. They get the same average revenue. That means price. Okay, the total revenue is calculated based on the the product of the average revenue and quantity. It is the see this first example 1 into 10 is equal to 10 and 2 2 into 10 20 3 into 10 uh, 30 4 into 10 40 up to uh, 7 into 10 70 okay this is the calculated on based on the quantity and average revenue 
the marginal revenue also we calculated the marginal revenue is the one more uh, the difference between the first unit and second unit uh, first unit is, is the 10 second unit is the 20 minus 10 is the 10 and uh, similar manner we get the same uh, uh, output that means uh, 10 uh, is uh, commonly is uh, occurred in this uh, example so based on this example the average revenue equal to marginal revenue so the curve is the indicates the constantly the price is constantly it indicates that in this graph the the graph is drawn in the quantity and price in this uh, in this diagram in this diagram the marginal revenue equal to average revenue okay see this one the price and quantity the demand curve and supply curve intersect this point this is the equilibrium point in this figure, OX is the represent the number of units sold and OY axis represent the price per unit. The price of the unit remains constant at P1. Consequently, average revenue and marginal revenue coincide with each other. Okay, this is the uh, perfect competition and short, uh, short run. See this one, the super normal profit in perfect competition. super number profit okay already you see that uh, last example in this last example both uh, demand curve and supply curve intersect this point okay and also the, in this point is the same point the price is constantly varied so the uh, average revenue equal to marginal revenue in this in this point the wherever the uh, marginal cost cuts the uh, or intersect the this point average revenue or marginal revenue curve um, okay um, at this point we decide this uh, uh, super normal profit in this example uh, if the form satisfy the both two conditions only the marginal revenue equal to marginal cost and that one is the marginal curve must cut the marginal cost curve uh, from uh, below the form attains the equilibrium point at uh, uh, this particular point okay where marginal revenue equal to marginal cost the MC curve passes through the, the minimum point of in average cost curve. The firm gets higher profits as long as price. <coughs> in this case, marginal revenue or average revenue. It's re it re receives for each unit exceeds the average cost of production. Okay. Um, uh, this is the uh, market supply and demand. Uh, this one is the revenue, cost, and profit per competitive form. This region is the super normal profit. Okay. When uh, um, that means uh, um, the expenditures is less than the revenue, okay. So this is the uh, average revenue cost. Uh, sorry, uh, average cost. The average cost is cut this uh, point in, in this uh, in, at this point, okay. And uh, average um, so marginal. Um, Marginal cost is cut this point at this point. Okay, this uh, so the cost is less than the revenue. So we get the super normal profit and the normal profit. Okay, based on the average cost curve, we decide the 
so we get the uh, supernormal profit or normal profit generally in normal competition uh, sorry uh, normal profit in a perfect competition series one the price is decreasing at this point so the demand curve moves this direction at that time the so um, supply okay at this point the supply curve intersect this point at this point and also it decide the price at uh, this uh, this point okay it will be a point so the average cost curve is uh, cut this way at this particular um, this uh, average cost and uh, uh, marginal cost are intersect this uh, particular point so the cost is equal to the revenue so uh, we get the normal profits see this difference between the super normal profit and normal profit in this super normal profit the average cost is much less than uh, more less than the revenue so we get the super normal profit in in second example in uh, now we get the normal profit in this example this uh, total average cost is equal to the marginal cost these two costs are intersect this particular point we get the uh, normal profit and next uh, next one is the subnormal profit or loss see this difference between the uh, normal profit and the subnormal profit in a perfect competition in uh, perfect competition the average cost is the moves the upward direction so the actually the profit is uh, occur uh, occur the uh, at this region but the average cost is more uh, uh, not touch this region so uh, cost is more than the revenue so we get the losses at this region okay so it indicates the subnormal profit okay based on this uh, uh, revenue and cost we uh, we calculated the profits either supernormal profit normal profit or subnormal profit and then next we will discuss about the conditions of perfect competition in long run in long run form will earn only normal profit because the time is more than uh, that uh, time is more than, more in this uh, long run uh, perfect competition so the um, price will be fixed by the industry by intersection points of market demand and supply okay in this uh, long run also the uh, Uh, variable costs are included in this uh, long run so uh, we get the normal profits uh, in this on uh, long run the average revenue is equal to the average cost now suppose the price is fixed Uh, then the revenue will increase and uh, super normal profits and uh, due to the uh, super normal profit of the existing firm other entrepreneurs will also interested to enter into the market okay suppose particular uh, commodity of the industry get the more profits in long run so um, other people also uh, pro other entrepreneurs also attracted to this uh, type of uh, community of um, industry started started the this type of community in, uh, of industry okay if particular community of uh, industry is um, get the uh, losses in long run in that time also uh, some producers are 
entrepreneurs uh, leave this, uh, this type of uh, industries okay based on this uh, uh, profits and losses either enter or leave the market or industry decide this entrepreneurs or uh, particular uh, producers okay see this example uh, at the same time new farms will start producing same commodities okay as a result supply will get increased while demand remains constant so price will be reduced from opt2 op1 the farms in short run ending super normal profit will start ending normal profit in long run already we discussed about the normal profits in a short run in same manner also long run also uh, marginal cost uh, and average costs are uh, intersect this uh, particular uh, average cost and marginal cost curve at this particular uh, intersect this particular point okay in this um, point uh, uh, we get the uh, normal profits okay this is the uh, long run in a perfect competition this happens only in long run because in sh short run new entry is not possible now suppose that the price is fixed um, op3 that means move towards the uh, this direction okay the farms are earning a super normal profit in short run at same time the some farms may leave the market because of uh, subnormal pro profit or losses okay this is this will result in supply decrease and demand remains constant this situation will lead to increase the price under imperfect competition now up to this time we discuss about the uh, per perfect competition either short run and long run in this short run how to get the super normal profits normal profits and sub normal profits and also we discuss about the in long run in perfect competition in this long run perfect competition we get the normal profits and then next we discuss about next uh, discuss about the imperfect competition conditions different types of imperfect competition generally the what are the types in imperfect competition monopoly competition monopolistic competition okay oligopoly competition and another one is the duopoly competition okay these are the classifications of the imperfect competition okay see this example unlike under perfect competition a firm under imperfect competition such as under monopoly can sell more only by lowering lowering its price therefore the average revenue curve is downward sloping and its corresponding marginal revenue curve lies below it okay the see this example the quantity of the goods is the uh, of 1 2 up to 6 average revenue is the uh, first quantity is the 10 and second quantity is the 9 and uh, third quantity is the 8 okay uh, fourth quantity is the 7 fifth quantity is the 6 and sixth quantity is the 5 we now we calculated the total revenue total revenue it is the product of price and quantity okay therefore we get the 1 into 10 into uh, 1 into 10 equal to 10 2 into 9 equal to 18 3 into 8 24 4 into 7 28 5 into 6 30 and 6 into 5 30 uh, like this way we get the total revenue then we calculated the marginal revenue in this marginal revenue um, uh, difference between the previous uh, new product and minus uh, previous product first one is the 10 and the second one is the 18 minus 10 equal to 8 and third one is the 24 minus 18 equal to 6 and next one is the 28 minus 24 equal to 4 and uh, next one is the 30 minus 28 equal to 2 and uh, next one is the difference between the 30 and the 30 equal to 0 like this way you get the marginal revenue 
based on based on this equation uh, example we calculated the uh, draw the graph so uh, average revenue curve is de decreasing okay the quantity of the quantity is the increasing on to 6 the price is okay the quantity is represented in the represented in the x axis and uh, average revenue that means the price is represented the uh, y axis okay um, now uh, average revenue is different to the marginal revenue in this example because the it, it, it is the imperfect competition okay so the marginal revenue and uh, average revenue curves are the downward direct move towards the downward direction but um, average um, compared to average revenue marginal revenue is the uh, quickly uh, fall down the uh, downward direction see this one uh, ar curve as well as marginal uh, revenue revenue uh, marginal revenue curve slope downwards However, the rate of all marginal revenue is double that of uh, fall of the average revenue. And then, now we discuss about the monopoly competition. In monopoly competition, uh, uh, generally, um, based on time run, it's also calculated the uh, long run and short run. In short run period, allows the change in variable factors only. The monopoly, the firm will achieve the equilibrium where marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. In short run, there are three possibilities as below uh, to end the profits. One is the supernormal profit, and then one is the normal profit. And the other one is the subnormal profit. But generally, the firm will earn supernormal profit because there is no direct competition. See this curve. Compared to perfect competition, in this monopoly, uh, the marginal revenue curve um, is different. See this one. Uh, average revenue and marginal revenue curves is downward direction. In perfect competition, average revenue equal to marginal revenue and intersect the uh, um, and also it's draw the this uh, average revenue and marginal curve horizontal direction in perfect competition. In this imperfect competition monopoly, these two curves are these two curves are moves the uh, downward direction and also as compared to average cost uh, average revenue marginal revenue revenue is the uh, um, quickly fall down okay these two points in at a, at a particular point intersect uh, see this uh, in wherever the marginal cost is uh, uh, intersect the marginal revenue okay this point okay uh, so the revenue is more than the cost the average revenue is the more than the uh, average cost okay this is the uh, super normal profit region see this one marginal cost equal to mar marginal cost equal to marginal revenue at this point and uh, uh, expenditures is less than the uh, revenue uh, revenue so uh, this region is called as super normal profit the average revenue is much higher than the the unit cost at the output q1 okay the monopoly is a price maker although it is also constrained by the demand curve see 
so see this uh, perfect combination monopoly the uh, comparison is the uh, relation between the average revenue and marginal revenue the marginal revenue in perfect competition average revenue equal to marginal revenue but in monopoly the average revenue is greater than the marginal revenue okay in uh, in profit in the long run generally in perfect competition normal profits in the long run but in monopoly and super normal profits in the long run also okay number of sellers in the generally perfect competition large number of sellers is available in the perfect competition but in the monopoly it's having only one seller is available in the market the barriers to entry and exit generally in perfect competition free entry and exit in the uh, in this perfect competition and also there is no barriers in this uh, in this competition <coughs> but in monopoly there are strong barriers so it is not easily entered in the market the control on the price in the perfect competition the sellers is only uh, the price takers but in monopoly uh, the sellers are, are the price makers okay that is the main difference between the monopoly and uh, on mono uh, perfect, uh, perfect competition okay and then nature of the demand curve perfectly el elastic in perfect competition but uh, monopoly the uh, nature of the demand curve is the uh, inelastic the relationship between the firm and industry in a perfect competition is the each firm is a part of the industry but in monopoly the firm and industries are one and the same this is the uh, comparison between these uh, monopoly and perfect competition okay now uh, this is the super normal profit in short run and there one is the super normal profit in uh, uh, monopoly competition and uh, sub normal profit in the monopoly competition based on this curves the average cost is is greater than the um, uh, or uh, more than the uh, this uh, curve dc is not uh, touches it at this particular point okay in the, in this region we can the expenditures is more than the revenue so in the com uh, the company or industry get the losses okay the average co cost is our expenditures is within the region at particular point you get the normal profit if expenditures is less than this uh, revenue in that time we get the super normal profit in monopoly competition already we discuss about this uh, uh, topic monopoly competition long run in generally perfect competition we get the only normal profits in the monopoly in this we get the super normal profits in the long run also okay in the long run is the period which allows a firm to change all the factors of production in long run a firm can adjust its supply in relation to demand the in the long run to take short run a firm will achieve equilibrium point where marginal revenue equal to marginal cost in short run it can it can be possible uh, that average revenue greater than average cost or average revenue less than average cost but in long run average revenue in no case will be less than the average cost most probably the price of average revenue of the product will be greater than the average cost so in long run in in, in long in long run the firm will earn, uh, earn super number profit under uh, so under monopoly okay uh see this one the super number profits 
so and also normal profits also normal profit and supernormal profits also we get this in this monopoly condition uh, next class we discuss about the monopolistic competition and what are the conditions occurred in the monopolistic uh, uh, competition in a short run and also uh, uh, we discuss about the uh, let us we discuss about the monopolistic competition and a short run also we will discuss in the next class amma konta mandi ikra a the class 10 members varaku different songs unnaru cheppandi లాస్ట్ మినిట్ లో వచ్చి జాయిన్ అవుతే మాత్రం అటెండెన్స్ ఎవరని ఇక్కడ ఆల్రెడీ ఎక్సెల్ షీట్ లో ఎవరు ఎన్ని మినిట్స్ ఉంటున్నారు అనేది క్లాస్ తెలుస్తుంది దాన్ని బట్టి నేను క్లాస్ కి అటెండెన్స్ ఇచ్చేది ఒక మార్జిన్ తర్వాత ఆ టైం పీరియడ్ తర్వాత వచ్చిన వాళ్ళు అందరికీ కూడా నేను అటెండెన్స్ ఇవ్వబోవచ్చు గుర్తుపెట్టుకోండి ఆ విషయం చెప్పండి మీ ఫ్రెండ్స్ కూడా లాస్ట్ మినిట్ లో అటెండ్ అవుతుంది లాస్ట్ మినిట్ లో అటెండ్ అవుతే అటెండెన్స్ ఇస్తారనుకోవద్దు ఓకే థ్యాంక్ యూ